And we are back with another episode of Off the Cuff from the Black Privilege Podcast. It's Logos. And your boy Ram. And today we're here to talk about some pretty big news in the social media realm. So Elon Musk, owner of Tesla, former, I think, CEO or maybe founder of um, PayPal and a few other stuff. He bought um, Twitter yesterday for 44 billion fucking dollars. Yeah, that's a lot of money. That's like, fuck you, I'm rich money. Like, I really don't care what you got to think about me. I'm so, I got so much money. Your opinion is irrelevant. Because it started off with like a treat somewhere, almost, I think. Somebody like dared him or asked him to just buy Twitter and he asked how much was it worth. And he fucking did it. Yeah, definitely surprised me because I thought he was just talking. I thought I thought he just wanted to be like a. And he, like, what, what did he do first? Did he and he ended up buying like a big share of the company. Yeah, like a, I don't remember the exact percentage, but I know it was like a lot. I want to say at least like ten percent. Something. Ended up being like the majority. Yeah, it was like a lot. I think I'm pretty low at ten percent. It was like a lot to like have people be alarmed and shit. And then they try to make him like a board member, and then that didn't work out, I think. And then I guess they just did something like that to them um, doing the deal. I'm surprised they actually got the deal done because I think they would want to release a control on Twitter like that. It's so powerful in terms of connections. That is, that's, that's a powerful move, though. I wonder what what he's going to do now because you get hear so many things. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I have somebody say, I'm not going to take it seriously until he brings Trump back. <laughs> I'm like, he got a point. There's a lot of people who've been banned over some crazy stuff. Not not just Trump. But, uh, like people have been taken off just for just exp- having, you know, their speech censored. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> Honestly, the first person that pops into my mind is um Alex Jones. I actually made a tweet about it on the, um, a podcast, like Twitter account. Like, it, I just, like, made it and stuff, but once I saw the news and it was, like, trending trending on, on Twitter yesterday, I really hope he does bring him back. <clears throat> but he did release a statement, Elon Musk, saying that he wants to have free speech, be a focus. He wants to take away all the bots that's off Twitter, which I believe causing a lot of conflict. And he said something, oh, he wants to open source the, uh, the data and stuff behind Twitter and how they um, do the algorithms and stuff like that which is why a lot of people get shadow banned and banned, like you said, in silence. So from everything he at least said outwardly so far, because he just bought the company, it sounds a lot better than what we're used to. Hmm. Even some liberals said they're going to um, leave. They're going to leave Twitter. <laughs> just like they said, they're going to leave the country when Trump got elected. Remember that shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was definitely it. <laughs> You know, that won't happen. It's crazy how much people claim they hate this country and yet they won't leave. Oh yeah, that shit crazy. So like <laughs> people who I know so- who are who are very well off, so you can't use the excuse of oh, you don't have the money. Oh yeah, for sure. But they just they know they're full of shit when they say it. So don't nobody go to that length anyway. Much as you hate this country, you know it's still a lot better than a lot of other places. And you know you're just too lazy enough to take that chance anyway. You're too scared. So stop being hyperbolic for the sake of your political party, your political stance. People just take it too seriously. I feel like some people, they have it to the point where they have so little going on that they just delve into the BS. Yeah. Whether it be Twitter, Instagram, and it just be like the real childish antics, like mass reporting somebody. Mm-hmm. Any, yeah, any yeah, doxing, any little slightly slight inconvenience, and it has to be put put on Twitter. Yeah, or they'll try to get somebody fired, or so. I don't know if that's what doxing mean, but yeah, they'll try to get somebody fired or some shit because they think they're racist or sexist or transphobic. Yeah, it's different times, but even at places where I've worked, like literally having conversations about 
what you can and can't say and they make sure they <laughs> they make sure they uh emphasize homophobic and transphobic stuff. <laughs> I'm like, man, nobody talks like that. What are y'all talking about? What they say you gotta call them by the pronouns? No, no, no. Like just saying you you can't make like you have to be careful what you say around people to not offend them. Oh. It's like wow. Do y'all have any women or are transphobic? I mean not my fault. Trans, trans <laughs> <laughs> transgender people on y'all like around you. Uh no, nah. they just don't want to. They just say they don't want to hear it. It's oh, okay. yeah. I understand. Like they don't want to have to be like, damn, we have to write you up because we heard you. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you know, if somebody, because you know, it, it can be people out there that don't even work for us. They can just hear something and go back and report it. So, oh yeah, you were. That's why I don't even play like that. But yeah, you know what? I know what to say around the right people. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm usually I'm not, I don't say I, I say crazy stuff from time to time, but I know who to say it around. Yeah, and the place too, like at work, you're taking the chance, but around your friends, you're pretty much good. Yeah, but yeah definitely keep in mind. And um, like around people I don't know, I, mean, I got coworkers that I'm pretty chill around, but. The ones who I really don't know like that, I just keep it cool, keep it going. Yeah, exactly. You never know who's gonna like try to snitch on you for your your thoughts or opinions or anything like that. Even if even if people are out outwardly um cool about it when they talk to you, they could still be shady behind your back, or they might have like that might be a thing they keep in mind when they might try to I don't know fire you or hold an opportunity from you because they remember something that you said. Yep. That's why I don't even, I don't even play like that. It just, I get the whole, like, you know, they, they talk about bullying as well. Like, don't be trying to har- or harassment. I get those too, but the whole, you know, watch as you say, because somebody can take something the wrong way. It's like, man, we, we are grown adults. Like, we know what's offensive. We know it's not, but. Yeah. Plus, it's not like people go walk around make a transgender gay jokes all the time. Anyway, that's really not what some people do. Yeah, I'm like I don't. Yeah, it's not, I don't know who y'all are around <laughs> or what's been said before. I, before I was here, but yeah, I don't. I don't talk like that. Shoot, they be projecting that like we're for like we're like Saudi Arabia or like some very authoritarian, uh, religious heavy country. Sometimes like the whole how much they push like. Don't be uh, homophobic, transphobic, all this stuff. Like, Americans are just out in the street attacking people who live those lives. Yeah, that's crazy. But hey, hopefully he changed Elon, you know, he can change it in, in the Twitter sphere because it's a lot of people who I know just, they just go on there strictly just because they know they can, <laughs> they can say whatever. Yeah. They don't work because they're on that quote unquote right side right now. Mm-hmm. They know they won't get in trouble for it. And then they know the people that they usually are talking about are pretty sensible. So they're not gonna, they're not gonna go, they're not gonna stoop to their level and do the tactics that they do, like mass reporting or doxing. Yeah. Just like, okay, whatever. Yeah, because usually <laughs> people got better things to do with their time, like they're working or they having a happy life. Right. It, it, I, I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of weird. I feel like it was weird that he bought it because I'm like, dang, Twitter's pretty old. Like, I feel like at some point something's gonna replace that. Define old. Like, I think it came out, I think we were in middle school. Yeah, like high school, late, late middle school, early high school. That's not yes. that old. It is for to me because I I think about all the apps that came before that like they didn't they didn't, they didn't really last that long and then when they did it was something that came to take its place like I know Twitter's gonna be here for at least the next five years I can see but I think ten I think where Elon's gonna be longer yeah yeah it, it depends what he does I I hope it lasts longer but he, he would have to it would have to change in a major way if it's still the same old Twitter it's gonna it's gonna die up um. Like, what could be an upgrade for it? The only thing I think is the metaverse, and I don't really see people going with that, like people think. 
hey, I didn't even, but we we never thought of we, we never thought of Twitter exists. That's the thing. I don't I don't know what's next. I never I never thought of TikTok would be next. That's the most downloaded app in the world now. So I don't, yeah, honestly but, don't know. But but TikTok is like a just a refurbish uh Vine. Mm, the Vine died that. out. I wouldn't say TikTok. It's actually better. <laughs> you say Refurb- TikTok is better or Vine better? TikTok is better. That's why I said I wouldn't say refurbished. It's, it's definitely better than Vine. Yeah, Vine so like, I think with- Vine died out because you know people are not looking for seven second videos anymore. Yeah, and that was and then it was the first of its kind too. You got to think about that. Yeah, like nobody really thought about it like that, but we just constantly growing because. I don't even really hear too much about Snapchat like that anymore, but I think it's still it's still doing pretty good. Mm-hmm. It's doing good. Yeah, it's doing good. It's just not. It's not what it was when we was in high school. Twitter and Instagram really that, took over. Yeah, think about it. We definitely like we're crossing to that point where like we're about to be in another age bracket now in five mm-hmm. years. That's, that's why I'm saying you. We probably were maybe eleven or twelve when it was out, and now we're we're, we're, we're pushing in our thirty. In five years, we're going to be in our thirties. So I, I I definitely think something's coming. I don't. The only thing I see upgrade because if you already quickly talk to people through your phone, like what's next? Really, like direct brain to like brain or brain to phone. That's why I'm. That's why I'm like confused. Like Elon, he has his neural link thing. Like that's why I, I assume the next thing being, but I don't see. People saying that's like a good thing or people going with it. And yeah, it was Twitter was created in 2006. See, that's what I'm saying. Like it's 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 getting to the point where it's like, okay, what's next? Type thing. And I, I'm not talking about the app. I don't think the app's gonna die out. I just don't think it's gonna be as big as it is. I wonder because this is kind of like what the third wave, second wave of social media, because folks you had MySpace. Yeah, MySpace you kick anything like 4chan, all that other stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff we had. It was just, they were just so, and it was so it was so it was, a, it was a lot of like group chats. It was, it was websites I didn't even heard of that people used to talk about. Yeah, but we still had like Facebook. That was a big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah Facebook. But like I said, most people don't use Facebook. That, that that's gotten towards like the older generation. Great, that's the only thing I really use. Maybe because I don't like social media. I'm gonna say I don't really use much. I think I'm more on. I would probably say YouTube first, then maybe Instagram. Oh, yeah. If you could YouTube, then yeah, you got a point there. But YouTube, like, pretty much kind of like the oldest. Yeah, but it's, it, but it, that's the thing. It's changed so much over time. Like, I used to, they showed, like, a progression video of how YouTube used to look, and it's crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. And Twitter's not changed so much. Well, Twitter is so... Well, it probably did change when it first started. I doubt it looked the same now as it did. No, like, no, I mean, like, it's not drastically, it didn't drastically change. Yeah, it's definitely changed over the years. Oh, yeah. I, I wonder if they still, because I remember um, I was in class and like that's when, you know, phones were big for us. So in high school, everybody had their phones out. And I remember this girl, she was like, and I'm still in Twitter jail. I was like, what the fuck is Twitter jail? Is that like a, like a you suspended from your account for a few days? Yeah. Same yeah, with like Facebook jail, IG jail. That's crazy. I, I've never been to any, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> I just see people post about it. Uh, no, no. But yeah, that's different than like Shadow Ban. And what's Shadow Ban? Shadow Ban, you can still tweet, but nobody's gonna see it. Fa- Facebook and Twitter jail, and that's Twitter jail. You like you can't tweet at all. Your account banned temporarily. So it's like a suspension. Okay, yes. Account suspended. I that's what it basically is. It. You know, we gotta make slang for everything. But yeah, I wonder what it's gonna be. Some black mirror type shit. Say. Hey, what if what if okay, this is conspiracy theory type shit. But Elon Musk, he does all um, narrow link. And true. You know, what I'm saying? you know it, it can it can also be a um a, a, a ploy to do his own little thing from behind yeah. the scenes. Yeah, to integrate the next phase of social media, as you say. With this idea of Neuralink and stuff like that, using Twitter, which is the fast way to get stuff out. 
Yeah, it's not impossible, but I mean, it's not out of the way impossible because he does actually own both now. Like, those are his companies. Right. So he could do what the fuck he want with that two uh, rooms. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't take it that far. I, I would hope he's a decent human being, but who knows? I don't know like that. <laughs> yeah, nobody... Nobody really does accept him in his circle. People just act like they do. Right. One thing we see from him treat, so he, he act like he treats out like he would be like tweeting out meme or type stuff. Yeah, he definitely somebody had a sense of humor. Like he gets it, but yeah, like I remember, I remember like something so simple as like uh, it was a video of when Donald Trump was in the W. He went to WWE. Yeah. And he had Vince McMahon's. I think Vince McMahon. Him, he, I think he beat him up, but they had it covered. They put a CNN logo over Mr. Uh, Vince McMahon and Twitter. They just blew up about stuff like that. And, I, and I'm just like, damn, like, look how far, like, we've, he didn't, like, kind of turn the tide to that, from that, because I don't think with, with him, he wouldn't, he wouldn't even consider even doing, like, I guess, banning somebody for something like that, or even, like, mm-hmm. suspending them. Yeah, exactly. Like we, that's like hope, like hopeful in the indicators that he's going to allow free speech to be free speech, and not controlling what he thinks free speech should be, which is protecting people's feelings or defining of what is safe to say and what not to say. What we've seen the past four or five years plus. I remember seeing a, a post earlier. It was like a fake Elon Musk account. <laughs> he was like, now that I'm buying Twitter, I'm leaving it. Facebook is next. Go outside and enjoy your life. <laughs> I was like, man, if he did that, bro, I would, I'm not going to lie. I would probably, that'd be probably the hardest laugh I've had in a while. Hell yeah. He said, I'm going, I'm coming like, for all you got y'all. this much money that you just said, I'm about to shut this entire app down. I'm just going to spend $44 billion to shut the whole app down. And, bro, I would think this man, he's a madman. Hell yeah. Because oh, I'm like, yo, you are crazy. <laughs> just thinking about it. I don't would, would think he is, but that, would, that was definitely something. That was a good laugh for me. Hell yeah, that would be crazy. People will flip that shit. I'd be headlines for a while. But you know, next, wherever next Twitter gonna be, you're gonna explode. Hey, we'll see. But I don't know. I, I don't have a Twitter, but if if I see that you know he's actually making strides to make it like a free speech platform, I probably probably might make one. And not not just the not, people think when you say free speech, you're just gonna be go on the internet and start being an asshole. It's like, no, I want to be able to express what I have to say. You can even disagree and call me whatever type of focus you want, but Twitter's not going to delete my account or you can mass report me all you want. They're not going to just, they're not going to take it down. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's what I care about. It's to the point where, yeah, you can disagree all you want, but no matter what you or your little trolls going to do, you can do whatever, but my account's still going to be here. I don't have to worry about getting my page banned or anything like that because... Y'all just decided y'all want to uh, attack me over some over some letters. Yeah, exactly. We don't want to just cause hate or cause like problems. We just want to have conversations about topics that we couldn't have previously, but important topics that we need to have as a society. Especially if you want to talk about <clears throat> calling people all these labels to throw at them. Like at least have people say why they feel the way they feel that doesn't automatically mean they're one way or the other go throw whatever insult you want just know i'm gonna keep talking about shit exactly it, and i just feel like i've always thought it was weird just to eat the only one reason i've always thought it's weird to have a twitter because it's like why do y'all get triggered over words like y'all y'all choose to read these tweets and then y'all just y'all entire brain just start to just fume for real. You can choose who you follow. And you can also it choose to put your goddamn mind. hand down. Put your phone down. You choose what you comment on. You choose what you like. You choose what you retweet. Like, why do y'all act like these are not your own actions? 
Yeah, and they choose to engage with these people that they know gonna piss them off. First of all, and you shouldn't be pissed come, off. It come right back. Yeah. To the, you come right back to the app the next five minutes. Like I've seen people, oh my God, it's so triggering. Like, bro, it's fucking words. For real, they're not even threatening you. Like, nobody's hurting you. Nobody's doing anything. Like, it, it is crazy. Hell yeah. Hopefully. Oh, that, that was probably my biggest reason not for having one. Because I feel like if I say something that you don't like and you feel like you're about to try to shadow ban me or, or I mean, or dox me or whatever, it's like, come on, man. Like, that just shows you have nothing going on with your life. Because I'm not going to lie. I say some reckless shit sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I want to be, I want to be able to say it. And you can, people didn't give me pushback, but I should be able to say it and still have my account there. I agree. As long like, as you're not I, threatening nobody or trying to tell people to go and do something to somebody else, which they do allow on Twitter before, mm-hmm. then you should be fine. But that's the thing too. They let they pick and choose who they want to ban. And not ban. You could say one thing that's racist or homophobic or whatever against one group of people, but then flip it around and say it's another from a different like ideology or political stance, and those people get banned. It's not equal um, judgment or punishment. Definitely. And I remember. Um... It was another post. I think it was Tyler Crayer. <laughs> yeah, it's like I don't. I never understood how somebody can get cyberbullied. Like, hey, bro, just turn the computer off. And <laughs> just walk away from the computer. Or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's it's sad to the point where like now it's it's adult. It's more so adults. You got adults getting triggered. I'm like, man, y'all are fucking insane. A lot of them are age. All right. They've been like, coddled. Yeah, and then. A lot of these people have never, you know, never really been had any structure. And now we're in that era of, you know, inclusion, feminism, um, shit, c- capitalism, definitely playing a big role. Or I, I'll say more so consumerism, because yeah, I don't think capitalism is a bad thing. It's just the whole trying to buy material things and just vanity is it, it, crazy. Yeah, I agree, because capitalism is nothing more than, <clears throat> it's a system, it's, it's about how we use it. Right, it definitely, definitely works. Yeah, it's the best thing we have right now. Right. Hey, some people think otherwise. Sure. They can be allowed on Twitter, though. <laughs> right. <laughs> they say the foulest thing is like kill all men and you you will still have a page but if i say something along the lines of like damn lizzo just a just a sloppy bitch <laughs> like y'all were really trying to get my entire page banned like you didn't you didn't have to see my tweet you don't have to follow me you could even block me i'd rather you just block me you don't have to see a tweet from me ever again yeah exactly but let me say how i feel she 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 did a video I think I saw like two two days ago. It was so just uh, you know how you just scroll, yeah. You, know, you just mindlessly scroll and they just pop up. Like I'm just like oh my god, she's doing this on that like getting on a jet and like a big ass bikini, bro. Like and oh had, I saw and, that nasty shit. And they had a side by side picture of Rakishi. That shit took me out. Damn, I wish you would have screenshot that shit, bro. I'm like you look just like this nigga, like. You literally have a goddamn piece of string up your ass and the rest of it is just uh, uh, black. I'm like, wow. Like, and it's like on Twitter, you wouldn't be able to say like, 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 why? <laughs> that's the, yeah, that's the only thing I want to say. Why? <laughs> why? Even, <laughs> even that people will mass report that. Like <laughs> for <why>? real. <laughs> why? The fuck you mean why? She's a woman, so she can, and she's strong, <laughs> independent, and black. Deleted, blocked, <laughs> shadow banned, job is right. lost. You set cis transphobic, homophobic, racist, fat phobic fuck. I'm gonna I'm gonna block you, but I'm also gonna dox you so people know you live that. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm like, man, y'all really have nothing better to do with y'all lives. 
They try to take people's livings away. Yeah. Yeah, that's the worst part. I feel like I've seen people like, especially white dudes, they they got the worst right now. Yeah. It's like um they'll say something, especially during like the whole Black Lives Matter thing. I think it was a guy who said something along the lines of if Black Lives Matter so much, wouldn't wouldn't y'all shouldn't y'all be in your own communities protesting? And they found this dude, Instagram, Facebook, damn business, like where he worked. I'm like, oh my gosh, he's not lying. <laughs> He's your- he is not lying, but because you because y'all disagree with him, now he now y'all have to try to ruin this man's whole livelihood. Cool. I, feel like that's, I feel like the opposite should happen to him. The people who post this information, you should have your entire account banned. Yeah, for real. That's dangerous. That's you inciting right. violence. Right. Go go visit, go give him a visit. You put his phone number out, you show his family how they look. You need your entire account deleted. You should never be able to make one again. Yeah, for real. Shit, almost should be illegal. It should be. It should be a damn crime. Well, because you're literally trying to guide people how to locate and hurt only somebody. Person, you don't know what they're going to do. They're most, nine times out of ten, it's going to be violent. For real. And you're going to do it to innocence, too, like their family. Over words. Over, <laughs> over, 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 over type words at that, not even spoken words. Well, just an opinion. He ain't out hurting, targeting nobody. He just saying what he he was saying a fact for one. I, I agree with 100 percent Like, why yeah. why is this all of a sudden everybody's marching when the police do something? But within that span, there are black people dying in these riots, and y'all not marching for them. And y'all have somebody get shot, and then y'all won't even march over there no more. No, we ain't gonna march on this side of town. Why not? Just march strapped. Like, what is wrong with y'all? <laughs> I would think you want to go right back to that same spot. Yeah. But no, we're gonna go back to George Floyd and the police. Like, this girl just got killed a, a day ago. And happens all the time. Hmm? Yeah, of course, it's the media. It's, they're gonna always do that. And like majority of people, sad to say, I feel, I feel this way. They're freaking idiots. Yeah. And it's just, y'all look at something, you look at stuff that you want to believe and you look at it from a service level. You don't think to yourself like, dang, why do I only see cops on, on, like, on a real big platform whenever it's a white person? But I only see it when it's a black person. Like, why don't, why don't people just ask themselves that? <laughs> You would think the pieces would start to fit. Like, damn, why do I only see this type of it's the same scenario on the news? But I never see the others. Well, when I was taught critical thinking in school, because if that was the case, we would see who's a true like issue with this country. I feel like it, it shouldn't even be taught in school. It should be taught by your damn parents. But like you said, like anybody can have kids. That's the sad part. Yeah, that's a fact. Some of them be dumb as hell, or just probably raised how I was raised. Just, you're going to listen to the adult authority in your house. Mm-hmm. No matter how dumb they sound. We all we all had that moment, you know, our parents say some wild shit. My mom, my mom said, I asked her, can I plug up a game on the big screen TV? She said, you're not about to mess up my TV. Oh, yeah, I, I remember hearing what that. What the fuck? <laughs> how the fuck do you think the game is played? Yeah, like, what do you plug it in? The game was made to go in. There are specific spots on this TV to plug in and play. What are you talking about? But you say that in the black household, you're getting getting hit. I'm just like, that didn't make no sense. Why didn't my TV in my room blow up? Like, what the hell are you talking about? Why would they make a console designed to fuck up a TV? like the TV is not meant to be fucking played on a damn wall. Like, how the fuck? What do you What do you mean? Why would the creator of the TVs make these ports for the console? Oh, and I and if I start saying that, oh, oh you get smart. It, yes, oh, you because get somebody smart. isn't in this room. Right. <laughs> they going straight ass with the mode. For real. That's one topic I do want to do. Uh, another time, how you know. A lot of parents held their kids back by not letting them, by not listening to them and letting them speak up for themselves. Oh, yeah, we definitely got to do a whole just 
session on that, just focus on that one topic because it's it leads into a lot, of, a lot of different stuff and it happens in a lot of different ways. Right. It, it definitely happens to a lot of black kids. And you, it's, it's crazy how many people we, we have way too many similar stories. I'm like, bro, we, did we all grow up in the same fucking house? Like, well, what is going on? <laughs> Hell yeah. And they be across the country. Hey, totally different states and be the same exact shit. You ever, hey, bro, you ever got hit for like leaving two dishes in the sink? Man, yeah, man. Okay, yeah, this is way too common. Something's wrong. <laughs> Something is wrong. Like, and, and definitely, I know a few things that it could be, but it's definitely something that I want to dissect. Hell yeah, we got to jot down some notes and hit that from every angle. Right. Raw. Hell yeah, no filter or nothing like that. Go at everything. Yeah. But yeah, don't forget to uh like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on shit. We got Twitter now <laughs> and a TikTok. Oh, yeah. So yeah, follow us on that. And this is another uh episode of the Black Purge Podcast. It's your boy Ram. And it's your boy Logos. And we out.